Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the taxi firm Uber has lost an appeal over its treatment of drivers as self-employed. The Employment Appeal Tribunal upheld its previous ruling that Uber drivers should be instead classified as workers, meaning they are entitled to rights like holiday pay and the minimum wage. Uber says 50,000 UK drivers use its app, claiming 80% of them want to be classed as self-employed. Uber said it would appeal the decision and was willing to take the case all the way to the Supreme Court. Six men have been jailed for a total of 45 years for committing one of the UK's biggest tax crimes. They were sentenced at Southwark Crown Court for a £100 million fraud that used a fake eco-investment scheme presented as a tax break for wealthy investors. HM Revenue and Customs said the group used investors' money to fund lavish lifestyles, buying expensive homes, jewellery and holidays. HMRC was first aware of um, this supposed avoidance scheme back in the mid-2000s. Um, we arrested the individuals in 2007. Um, you're right, it's an extremely complex um, fraud in many ways. It involves secret Swiss bank accounts, trusts in, in Mauritius, um, British Virgin Islands um, companies, a really complex web of um, offshore entities. It was another difficult day for Uber today. Hire car drivers who work under the Uber umbrella won a landmark ruling over employment rights like sick pay, paid leave and the minimum wage. Unions are hailing it as a victory for workers, but Uber claims it will deprive drivers of their freedom to choose when and where they work and says it intends to appeal. To the company, Uber is a glimpse of the future. Technology linking drivers and their customers to everyone's benefit. But today the court again ruled their business model is a denial of working men and women's basic rights. A decision welcomed by the Uber driver who brought the case. Well, I'm pleased um, and relieved that the law has prevailed on our side. But it's mixed with a little bit of uh, anxiety and disappointment, you know, in the sense that, look, it's taken us two years to get here. It's a $70 billion corporation. It's far bigger than Unilever or Barclays Bank. And yet they're fighting us so that they don't have to pay the minimum wage to us. At the heart of this issue is Uber's insistence. Its thousands of drivers are self-employed. An employment tribunal ruled they are workers with rights to holidays and sick pay that they've not been receiving. Uber's appeal was turned down today, but many of its drivers were not celebrating. Gareth Jones began driving for Uber two years ago, attracted by the flexibility that allows him to fit work around homeschooling his son. Homeschool till around four, four, five-ish, then I go out and do a bit more Uber, and it fits in and I can survive. Now he worries, faced with mounting costs, the American-based company may move away and says he and many like him don't feel exploited. I only did it for flexibility. That's all I did it for. So I knew exactly what it was when I signed up for it, and it's what I wanted. The Uber ruling has implications for thousands of other jobs in the so-called gig economy of part-time work. And this leading lawyer is giving Uber another headache, starting legal action to claim unpaid VAT. If Uber supplies transportation services, um, it must charge VAT, uh, and that brings in an annual bill of about £200 uh, million pounds a year, um, and that's money that we desperately need to fund hospitals and, and schools uh, and social care and so on. Already appealing against the removal of its licence in London, Uber will also appeal against today's ruling on the treatment of its drivers. Paul Davis, News at 10.